Okay, there are three decent methods that I have found in Procreate to curve text. Um, if you don't feel like exporting out to another program and importing it into the program and then back to Procreate, the first method is to take the word. This works great if it's if the word is all joined up. And we select it and we choose warp. And I like to go to the advanced mesh. And what you want to do is move these little dots so that the bottom bar lines up with your curve. And then you want to take the next line and even it out so it also lines up with that same curve. As you move these down to do this, your text will curve in for you and look very nice. You can even add a little flourish if you want, or you can leave it the way it is. Just try to get your vertical lines to be straight up and down at a 90 degree angle to the curve you are working with. And your horizontal lines following the actual curve. And that is the first method for creating curved text. And it works very nicely. Alright, method two involves taking your word, in this case the word curved, and separating each letter and then moving them individually. And I have already done that. What you want to do is take whichever letters happen to be in the center, which would be the R and the V, kind of leave them there where they are. Um, but take the C, and for this I take the magnetics and snapping off. Let's angle the C so it is 90 degrees to the actual curve. Do the same thing with the U. And you want these to touch your guideline so that you have a nice even curve going on. Looks like a bit much. Here we go. And so here you can see what the original looks like. It's the gray there in the background. And what our new one looks like. You can then flatten this group if you want. And that shows you the second method. We go on to the third method. Now, if you happen to have your word that you would like to go around in a circle rather than an ellipse, one thing you can do is you take the word and you separate it out into its letters. And of course I've grouped these together. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to take the bottom of the letters and I'm going to flip them vertical and then slide them down hmm. Let's turn these. Uh, let's turn the magnetics on. There we go. That way we get a nice straight down. And let's make sure that that's touching there and that's touching there. 
and then you want to match your letters up together. C U R V. Let's take all of these down here because they're getting close, uh, kind of far away. And then E and then D. And you may ask why I'm doing this. Well, if we take the two C's. and we move them to the center. Let's turn snapping on now. And then take the two U's and match it right up on top of there. The same thing with the R's. Excellent. Stretch that out. We don't want to stretch them out. We want to just center them. And we got the V and the E. And the D. Now because we have one letter on top and one letter on the bottom. That means that when we select these, we can now rotate these just like this and they stay nice and even. So we got a C. And we've got a U. We're going to leave the R right where it is because that looks kind of nice. And we got a V. And we got an E. And we got a D. And then. We select the whole group. I'm going to take the magnetics and snapping off so we can get nice smooth. Let's go ahead and rotate this so that it looks like it's nicely up and down. And then I'm going to take my upside down ones or right side up ones. Doesn't matter which. And we're going to put them in that group. And then of course if you want you can flatten this group. And you can see the difference between the straight text and the curved text. It looks like it's still slightly off for me. So I'm going to take these letters and these letters. Once again, I'm sliding to the right to select the whole group. And we're going to move them over like that. That looks like it's better centered. Turn those off again. And there you have method three for creating curved text. In this case, around a circle. Great for if you're putting words around a coin or a logo that happens to be round. And that shows you all three methods for creating curved text. Method 1, Method 2, and Method 3. I hope this helps you all out, and you have a wonderful day.